If you've been only playing for a couple of years, you're probably doing this wrong. And it's really not your fault because when you first start clarinet, you have to make sort of concessions just to you know, get your foot in the door. The problem is you're not taking enough mouthpiece, okay? I I've been teaching long enough to know that no matter where I go, no matter what age level, really, no one does this um, properly. Uh, there, on this reed, there are vibrating parts of the reed and then non-vibrating parts of the reed, right? Uh, if you want to be, you know, the best clarinet player you can possibly be, you need to use as much as the vi of the vibrating part as possible, okay? And almost everyone takes far too little mouthpiece. Um, there's a, a very easy trick that you can use to try to figure out uh, where, where the vibrating parts are. Take a piece of paper, right? Take a piece of paper and you put it in between the reed and the mouthpiece. You can kind of get an approximation as to where your bottom lip should go. So what you should do is, you know, do this, put your thumb right where it should be, then take it and put it in your mouth and make sure that's where your bottom lip touches, okay? If it's, if it's a lot higher than that, you're doing it wrong, okay? Um, this is the root cause of many, many, many of your problems. Uh, you know, sometimes if you get a younger student and you hear them play, it sounds like someone's actually strangling them while they play. And the main reason why is because they're taking so little mouthpiece that there's almost no vibration happening uh, on, for the reed at all because there's just not enough working for you. Um, if, if you're one of these people and you know you, you found a comfortable way to play that is not ideal, uh, when you when you do this, you're going to squeak. Okay, that's the the major sort of uh, uh, negative of, of taking more mouthpiece. I mean, look, you can you're going to learn how to control it, but when you first start doing it, it's sort of like everything feels very unstable and like you know like you have no control over, over anything. The rule for how much mouthpiece you should take, in my opinion, is uh, so th there's, a, there's a point where if you take so much mouthpiece, everything squeaks, right? Nothing responds, everything just comes out as one, one big squeak. You want to be slightly back from there. If you're, uh, so, so you want the maximum amount working for you. Uh, right, this was a short one, but very, very important. Take it on mouthpiece.